I hustle trap, I hustle trap, I hustle trap, I hustle trap. Bust the record, get two back, and this hub of gold caught me two pack. I'm a nut, use a blue sack. You had your chance, but you blew that. H22 C, H880 HD. Uh-huh. Somewhere along the road came asthma. B2 out of three, it ain't phased me. Man. For those who think I had it safely, huh? you hella mistake. Woo, child. Okay, so today <laughs> we got a lot um, to catch up on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was just chilling with my neighbors today. I went to go get some braiding hair. I'm gonna get a, a hairstyle done into my head and um, go to Wal. I went to Walmart and went grocery shopping. I thought it was a calm day. I'm off today. You know what I'm saying? I was with my neighbor chilling all day. You know, we was chatting up mess and stuff. I went to go charge my phone and I have realized I gotta stop turning my phone on um airplane mode. Because I be missing shit. And my mom freaking texted me. And she was like, did you see Cardi B leak Nicki Minaj's phone number? Which wasn't even the main part of those videos. I don't know if she's seen the video. Because all that other stuff. Y'all give me just one second. Alright, y'all. I'm back. I just want to check the volume level. Make sure it wasn't too loud. Because I know on my last few videos, it's been sounding loud as fuck. Like the mic is broken or something. Hopefully, we don't have that on this video. But nonetheless... I turned my phone off airplane mode after I used, um, charged it or whatever, and I seen that. So I went to go, and when I tell y'all, Cardi B had enough. You know what I'm saying? I seen earlier that Nicki was on Queen Radio. I seen it through Instagram on the little Explore tab. And she was talking about Ra Ali beat Cardi the fuck up. And she beat her up so bad. She was mad at Ra and this, that, and the other. And um, so... I'm going to try to, you know, present all the stuff and then give my side. I want to try to be doing that because I want to try to change the way that I do these videos. So, nonetheless, um, I, oh, wow, all three. Nonetheless, I, um, yeah, nonetheless, I seen that. And then I went from there, going from there. We watched that. Um, we didn't think much of it. You know, we just, you know, gave our opinions on it. She kept driving. That was it. So we was chilling, whatever. Later on, this happens. So Cardi B went on a whole rant. It is still on Instagram. She is sticking to her guns. And I want to say I'm proud of her for doing that. Because, you know what I'm saying? She could have just posted and deleted. The, my whole thing with Nikki and Cardi is... I don't like the indirect shit, you know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like, I feel like Cardi does it more so not to step on her toes. She's not trying to step on her toes, you know what I'm saying? She already knows how people kind of view her as the hothead and this and the other. So she kind of walks the fine line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Whereas Nicki can do the underhanded shit and for whatever reason nobody really, you know, questions her. You know what I'm saying? So Cardi started off, and I'm going to have to go video by video. Let me click off on the audio real quick because I don't got no time for that. that I never sh- oh, well, really, it doesn't matter if I have the audio playing or not. All right. So, yeah, because this ain't no music video. Like, no, give me just a second. Okay, so she talks about that night. And she said, how are you going to say that I got ragged by Ra Ali when there's so many footages? And why would I lie? You know what I'm saying? Knowing that the next day. There's going to be, this is going to be the hot topic. You know what I'm saying? So how are you going to say that I'm lying? And then how are you going to say? That I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage. Your cameraman got the footage. Yeah, then she talked about the footage. And y'all, I, I watch these videos. I'm just going through. You know, she posted a lot. She posts like 16 damn videos. <laughs> I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. Hold you up. standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. This is my thing. <laughs> Bruh, she snapped. Oh my God. As soon as I heard her say, This is my thing here, Miss Nicki Minaj. Oh my God. I already knew it was going down. And, uh, well, I t- we'll get to that part. All right. So then she goes on to the motorsport situation and she addresses how she did not like the whole Cardi the QV, I'm Nick Lombardi, followed with Bitch You My Son Go and Sit on the Potty. Um, she didn't fuck with that shit. And then she also let it be known that Nikki actually changed her verse three whole times, not just that second time. And the last verse was turned in before then. And she told Atlantic, I'm not doing the video with her if she don't change her verse. In this fucking career, and I'm nothing like you, so you I'm definitely not your fucking son. 
I'm a real ass person. You not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night. Oh, and I got the receipts, baby. All right. That's when she posted her phone, phone number. <laughs> I'm going to my camera. Not that, that she really posted it, but you know, she just showing her receipts. October 22nd. My thing is, if you had a problem that I went on the radio and I said that you changed your verse, which you did, which I'm not lying, sis, you had a whole six months to call my phone and talk about it like a grown ass woman, or you could have hit up Quavo so we could link up like the first time that we linked up and talk about shit in LA. But no, you waited a whole six months when you dropped the single to talk about it. How convenient is that? Wow. How convenient is fucking that? What she should have said was you waited till my album dropped and then you went to drop a single and then you want to talk about it. Be on the creepy Sis, what are you talking about? First of all... And then she also addressed, you know, certain, you know, Nikki trying to say that she stopped her bag. Um, you know, she accused Cardi apparently of trying to be on the Creepy Kush record. And she said, I didn't even know Bunny at that moment. Remixes, Bad Bunny. So why would I hop on a song that and then she let it be known. You're the one who be hopping up on remixes like that. Why would I hop on a song that's been out for three to five months? And that's not a lie. Like, Charlemagne brought that up. Joe Budden brought that up last year. Nikki was hopping on everybody's remixes. She was making official remixes on her own. You know what I'm saying? Like the ASAP Ferg. ASAP let it be known that he wasn't saying it in like an exposing way. He was just saying, you know, we never reached out to her. She did that on her own. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be on the Creepy Kush remix and I was trying to stop your back. Sis, what are you talking about? First of all, I didn't even know Bad Bunny back then. That's one. And second of all, for months, I was promoting a Spanish record with Osuna. Bad Bunny, by the way, that's one of the artists on the record, the number one <laughs> record that Cardi B has, the second one. What, second, third? Let me stop, though. Um, The record, I like it. He's one of those artists. Months. What are you talking about? But you, but, uh, but let's talk facts now, okay? Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the, because you and GZ got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the No Limit record, which they presented to you first and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and GZ, every single time that it climbed up the charts, we was extremely excited and you barked at your management because they gave me the record. And that's fucking facts. <laughs> In true Cardi fashion. So there y'all can hear that she um, barked that um, the management team. Apparently, Nicki Minaj was supposed to be on the No Limit song first. She didn't want to do it. She said no. So then Cardi got it, and it took off from there. And shit, because you claiming that Riley beat me up. Sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you. Yeah, we just going to listen to her video. Since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. And my thing is, just like every new artist, they had a mega hit like SZA, Ella May. After they get a mega hit, everybody wants to listen to them. So why is it that when people want to listen to me, you cannot believe it, that I, I got to be cheating for that? First of all, you was bopping to my shit. Second, my new single came out called Money, right? So my thing is, my single hasn't even impacted radio yet. And yet, it's doing so good on Apple. It's actually number one on the top chart, top charts, all genres on Apple. And that's the same shit that you got your queen radio on. So how can I possibly use Payola on some shit that endorses you? Man, is you shitting me? Ugh. Is so... There she is talking about Nikki's claims of Cardi using payola. You know what I'm saying? And um, let's just go down the list. Yeah, since you talk, then let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Let, tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when... You know, that whole winning situation was happening. And Riley used to have her number. Jason Lee's phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Riley. How come everybody that y'all have issues with, that y'all have the numbers in y'all camp, their numbers got leaked? My sister just got into an argument with Riley, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. And then the people that texted my phone, that texted Mariah Lynn phone, that texted Jason Lee phone, were all barbs to the common denominator on it. So, 
You tell me. You fucking tell me. And then. And there she, you know, pretty much says you're the common denominator between all of this. Also, for those of y'all who don't know, um, Barb's, there were a group of Barb's that jumped Mariah Lynn's mom a couple months back during the Gwyneth situation and said for her to keep her name out the queen's mouth. And we did see pictures of it. There's proof of this. So moving on. And after my sister posted those disturbing text messages. Oh, wait, wait. Let me show ya. This is my phone. Let me go to my text messages. I went all the way down from that fucking same day. This was the one that fucking got me tighted the most. And look, it starts from all the way down here, all the way down here. Oh, and it started all the way from up here. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And after my sister showed those text messages, look what you do. You go on your Twitter and you start liking shit like this. Start liking shit um like this endorsing that type of nasty ass fucking behavior bitch you're fucking sick in the head then after my sister all right so next. Trying to say that i'm trying to stop your bag because 21 savage didn't do a music video with you sis i'm not even that close to that man so how can i have that power to on um, that man to tell him hey don't do this music video that you're getting paid for for me get the fuck out of here that song that no flag song that they didn't do the music video with you 21 and offset the song wasn't doing good it wasn't doing that much numbers so why would they waste their time and now you're trying to say that i'm trying to stop your bag because 21 savage didn't do a music video with you I'm out here saying that i'm trying to stop your bag right but i'm actually helping you get a bag because that diesel deal that you got yeah that came to me first and i had to decline it because i'm already working with fashion brands you know which y'all gonna see because there's more than fashion nova then that woman like me record yeah i had to decline it because i'm doing a lot of pop records so i can't you know over exaggerate myself but that came to me first and then they give it to you oh wait but let me show you now. okay i'm not gonna play that record Cause the copyright and shit, you know what I'm saying? You're saying that I'm, and since you say you're tired of talking about it, I'm tired of talking about it too. I'm tired of the fucking whole internet shit. I'm tired of the interview shit. If you really want to talk about it, you know where to link me. We could always link up. You know who to reach out. You know, we could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. But I'm sick and tired of that back and forth shit. I'm not doing it. I'm in a good space right now. Let me know what's up. Then, since you said, and then you once said that I never showed you genuine love. And that's crazy because when you pull up all my videos, you see that I'm always showing you respect because you're somebody that I listened to ever since I was in high school. And that's crazy to me because I show you respect, but the difference between me and a lot of these bitches, I don't suck your dick. That's the difference. What you need to do is stop focusing on other people, focus on yourself and focus on your craft because you're out here fucking up your legacy, looking like a fucking hater. Wait, and then you once said that I never showed you. All right, so those are the ends of Nikki's videos. And um, I, I remember this situation happened a couple years ago, except for, you know, as much as people like to say, you know, Kim and Cardi, or Kim and Nikki is basically what's happening with Nikki and Cardi. Things are different, you know what I'm saying? There are some similarities, though. However, this time when someone is saying you're fucking up your legacy looking like a hater and you're going to go down as a loser, it's actually fucking true. There's actually fucking valid points behind it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, excuse me. Give me just a second, though. Damn, even Taraji P. Henson was liking this shit. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, and then Cardi came with receipts. She messaged the producer of the record, Crippy Kush. Ooh, excuse me. And the twist, this is what happened. The producer said 21 Savage was replaced to Travis Scott because 21 had an issue with his kid and couldn't make Crippy Kush video. Dot, dot, dot. Not because of anything else. And Cardi asked, could she post this? And he said, go ahead. And then she posted, Cardi B has become the highest selling female rapper for two years straight. And she said, I have nothing to worry about. Nobody. What another woman eat don't make me shit. <laughs> um, she went back and erased some other posts. Either she erased them or I'm pretty sure what happened is Barb's got them blocked because she had more receipts. Um, I couldn't grab, I didn't think to grab them before because I wasn't even sure if I was going to do this um, video. 
You know what I'm saying? I was like, maybe give it a day or whatever. However, um, she put out the post from the Diesel because the Diesel, the um, CEO of Wilhelmina came out and he tried to blo- um, say that Cardi B was lying. He accused her of lying. Um, so Cardi B dropped the emails. She dropped the whole fucking receipts, emails and all. Now, granted, it was a preliminary offer, but nonetheless, they were looking at Cardi for that Diesel line before they were looking at Nikki. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of whether or not there was paperwork written up, they finished off. They finished off. Or uh, uh, regardless of there was paperwork or not finished off, you reached out to Nikki first. You reached out to Nikki first. I see this person said right here, Isaac Hayes. Um, I don't know. Oh, he's he's okay, okay, okay. This person said right here, this um, I want Nicki Minaj to call Diddy and Dr. Dre frauds because they didn't write all their bars either, and they have hella hits and are hip hop icons. It's all entertainment. Does Cardi B make hits? Yes. Does do I care if she wrote all her bars? No. That's the facts. And that's another thing I wanted to point out. Let me show y'all these videos real quick. Give me just a second. All right, so as you guys see from those videos, what I just did was I went to title and I looked up writing credits. You can also Google those. You don't have to necessarily look them up. But I went to Nicki Minaj's writing credits for her most recent album. And I went to the writing credits for my EP that I just released. As you can clearly see, Nicki Minaj has a handful of writers on each of those songs. At the least, she'll have just Jeremy Reed. That's it. Um, so you don't write all of your stuff either, Miss Nicki Minaj. If your shit does not look like mine, I don't know why the fuck you're not. I don't know why the fuck you're discussing this. You know what I'm saying? And I have an issue with Nicki Minaj trying to call Cardi B out for her writing because this is what Nicki does. Anytime some female rapper um, comes up, she always has to do something. You know what I'm saying? At the BET Awards, it was if Nicki Minaj spit, Nicki Minaj wrote it. Apparently, that's not fucking true. You know what I'm saying? And for any of her brainwashed barbs, that's the information that her label put out. So don't sit here and try to say I was fake or I made it up. I can't make up shit that's there. You know what I'm saying? You, When you are in the music business, you actually know what the fuck you're talking about. I have a distributor. I put the credits. I put the writing credits. I credit the persons of the beat. You know what I'm saying? I put who wrote the shit. I write all my shit 100 fucking percent. You know what I'm saying? So don't sit here and... um. So don't sit here and, and um, try to sit here and act like that's my issue with Nikki. When her shit look like my shit, then we can talk about, oh, you a lyricist. Oh, you a queen. You, you a this. That's why people don't fart, fault, fault Cardi B for the fact that she doesn't write her shit, all of her shit. You know what I'm saying? If you, however, if you do look on Cardi B's uh, writing credits, it's never a song where it's just nobody except her you know what i'm saying she has input on her songs there are certain songs you could tell like get up 10 there's certain especially certain lines that you could tell oh yes cardi b definitely had a big influence on this part you know what i'm saying and there's nothing wrong with that just like that person pointed out dr dre and diddy uh have writers you know what i'm saying it's great when a rapper can write all of their stuff but let's go through and i'm not gonna you know this isn't about busting everybody out about the writing because it really like i said it really doesn't fucking matter but, you know, let's just go pick somebody that's very highly respected. Kendrick Lamar. All right, let's go through his damn album. 
All right, lyricist Kendrick Lamar, D. Tannenbaum. That's for the song Blood. The song DNA. Lyricist Kendrick Lamar, Michael L. Williams II. The song Yeah. There is six lyricists. The song Element. One, two, three. Six lyricists. Five uh, and four, five including him. The song Loyalty with him and Rihanna. Him, Rihanna, Bruno Mars. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, everybody gets... It. Here we go, right here. And no, 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 actually, I was about to fuck up on what I was about to say. I was about to say everybody gets help. No, not everybody does get help. But there's nothing wrong with if you don't write 100% of your stuff. Let's go find J. Cole. All right. Intro. Lyricist. Jermaine Cole, Richard Clay, Carl Clay, Wayne Garfield. K.O.D. Okay, on K.O.D., he wrote all of his stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, the intro, he did not write all by himself. K.O.D., he wrote all by himself. Photograph, he did not write all by himself. The cutoff, he wrote with him and Kill Edward, which, I mean, conspiracy theorists, you can call it that, but I think Kill Edward's just J. Cole. But, nonetheless, at the moment, J. Cole, Sammy Khan, Nicholas Bro um, Brodsky, something like that. Song Motivate. I know a lot of people like that song. J. Cole is listed along with Christopher Wallace. That's Biggie, I'm assuming. So there's um, some type of, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's a, um, there's a Biggie sample in there or something. But along with Biggie and him, there's six other writers. If that is Biggie, I'm assuming it is. It's not many Christopher Wallace's. Kevin, Kev, okay, on Kevin's heart, he wrote all his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let's go find some other ones. I'm just looking up list up on title. You can look it up yourself. You can Google it. All right. Let's see. Who else is a well-respected MC? Hell, let's see Jay-Z himself. 444. On Kill Jay-Z, there are four lyricists, including Jay-Z. The story of OJ. There is one, two, three, four, five, five lyricists, including Jay-Z. On the song Smile, it's three lyricists. On the song Cart Their Eyes is four. Family Feud, one, two, three, four, five, six. You see what I'm saying? So it's nothing wrong with having writers and lyricists. You know what I'm saying? My issue is Nicki Minaj is being a hypocrite calling Cardi B out because you're acting like you, your exact words were if Nicki Minaj spit, Nicki Minaj wrote it. First of all, we all know fucking Safari aided in Nicki's career, not just the writing because you could tell she was not the fucking same after that breakup. You know what I'm saying? But we can all, Safari helps you fucking write. You know what I'm saying? He he tried to be a stand-up guy and came out and denied it. But ever since he left, your pen game has not been the same. And to be honest, it wasn't that fucking spectacular before. You know what I'm saying? Now that rake it up verse, hey, I believe Nikki wrote that whole thing. Race to China. Both, yes, I can believe she wrote that all by herself. Hell, let's see. Since we doing this, because like it really doesn't fucking matter. It really don't fucking matter. But since we doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? And this ain't about no, oh, you team Cardi, oh, you team Nikki. Who gives a fuck? It, it, it ain't even about that shit. Oh, I guess we won't be able to know because there is no writing credits for the song Rake It Up. I don't see it. Yeah, okay. Yep, I don't see nothing on title. Hmm, let's see. All right, let's see. I'm trying to see if it's Googleable. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, five writers. All right, boom. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't hear. Um, by the way, that reminds me. Oh, I don't need to say that on here. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. But, oh, shit. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm back, y'all. I was reading some stuff. But nonetheless, you see what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's, it does, it's not making no fucking sense. 
with um is it, it, she's not making fucking sense with what she Nikki is not making sense at all. You know what I'm saying? And then if you go on Nikki's side, let's see. If she hasn't erased it, I'm gonna go check her Twitter and see, but let's see. They're still number one on Twitter right now. Yep. All right, let's see. Nikki. Child by now she talking about some okay you guys let's focus on positive things only from here on out we're all so blessed I know this stuff is entertaining and funny to a lot of people but I won't be discussing this nonsense anymore means AKA she'll be talking about it next week at any rate let's see all right so here she said she's retweeting stuff that her barbs are saying and all this and liking shit and. All right, so let's see here. Nikki's responses. I'm trying to find them. All right, the only rapper in the history of rap who can only talk about deals and songs she supposedly turned down because she can't talk about a verse she's ever written. Fucking fraud. That's ironic as fuck. But nonetheless, um... I'll pay you to take a lie detector test about every claim I made on Cream Radio. You won't, I admit, I must admit, you're a convincing liar. You looked me dead in my face and said, you told your man not to do the No Flags video because I was dissing you. London on the track got the same call. So now she admitted to dissing her. But if I recall, when you made the song No Flags, you said, I wrote this three months ago, and you said it wasn't a diss to her. You see how you keep doing that to yourself, Nikki? You kind of snitching on yourself low-key. Just like when you said, um, a veteran came at me, so I responded back with the Roman's Revenge. But years ago, you said it wasn't a diss. You know what I'm saying? She's inconsistent. She's inconsistent as fuck. All right, so never mind. Going back, her next tweet, we can get on live and have the combo for the world to see, do a lie detector test, do an interview on Queen Radio. She always trying to get some clout for this damn radio. Or we can sit in a room together and hear a beat for the first time and have ourselves filmed writing to it. Same thing with Steve Madden. Irv Gotti asked me to do that deal several times. I passed. You never hear me talking about things like this. She really thought she was doing something talking about turning down deals. But isn't that what you do in your songs? She has a song where she talked about turning down a deal, if I'm not mistaken. And all people have talked about turning down, uh, they talk about deals and songs. That's something that people talk about. They rappers rap about that shit, so I don't know what Nikki's trying to say. Let's see what else. Then she commented, stop trying to distract everyone about the fact that you lied about Rob beating your head in. Babe, we all get deals and turn them down. Same thing with songs. Lil Mix has been trying to get me on a song for seven years. I finally found one I loved. Yes, I passed on G-Eazy. What's your point? Have you ever written a rap? So you see what I'm saying? She's pretty much deflecting. Ooh, excuse me. She's pretty much just deflecting the whole thing. Mari um, said, why pay for a lot of tetris tests when mine is free? I'll get to the bottom of this. And she responded, Mari, Mari I'm ready. da 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 then she said her, she claimed her, agent, her, her lawyer, Cardi B's lawyer, just called Nikki's agent, threatening him for putting out receipts. Where's her receipts at? I don't see any receipts that Nicki Minaj has at all. There is no receipts to this. She's making empty claims and not even, she's, she's not, um, she, she's, she, there's no receipts. I don't know what you're talking about. Cardi B has posted whole emails from Diesel. You know what I'm saying? And um, this, that, and the third. So, and this pretty much all stems from why I leave threatening Hennessy, Carol, Her Hennessy. Um, oh my God. Okay. So, my whole take on the situation. 
is, and I have seen Hennessy, you know, going at Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Talking about something she looks like a crackhead on stage and this and the third. Nikki loves throwing rocks and hiding her hands. Like, I tell y'all, just like I'm telling y'all in the last video, just like I've been telling y'all, Nikki orchestrated this beef from the whole fucking start. Back when, and I'm going to call it that Cardi B was saving face because she stayed face with Nikki a lot of the time. She's done this a lot. And that's probably because at one point, Nicki Minaj was her idol. This was somebody that she looked up to. So I'm going to go ahead and call it, even though Cardi claimed that that wasn't the female rapper that she was talking about, I'm going to say that it was. You know what I'm saying? So when, back in that um, 2018, the beginning of January, or 2017, whenever, when Cardi B said there was this rapper on the stage who are on the red carpet who made me feel like I didn't belong there, I'm just going to call that Nicki Minaj. Um, if Even if that wasn't her, I doubt it was Iggy, because I know her fans were trying to say that shit. Barb's are trying to go. They'll, they'll use anybody for an excuse. Oh, Make Love wasn't about Remy Ma. It was about Azealia Banks. Well, nonetheless, she thought it was about Nicki Minaj, so we don't really give a fuck about Make Love no more. <laughs> um, shout out Rim. Oof, that pen is nasty. <laughs> but nonetheless, get back to what I was saying. Um, Nikki, Nikki started the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? She does this with every fucking female rapper. It is not a coincidence that you have an issue with every female that comes out. You are tied to every female that comes out that starts making it big mainstream, that starts making it big mainstream. And it just so happens that you're not, you, you are, she's the common denominator. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, people are not being fucking honest about shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, at the end of the day, I I, I, I need Nikki to sh stop talking. Leave this girl alone. She didn't do nothing to you. She did not do anything to you. She came in singing her praises. And I talked about this on For the Love of Juice. Shout out to her. She had a live chat the other day. I was one of the callers. I called in because I was like, people's not being genuine about this shit. When Cardi B first came out and they asked her about Nicki Minaj, I've seen interviews in Spanish and English. And she had no problem. She was like, yeah, she's cool. You know what I'm saying? I love her. That's my idol. Da, 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 this, that, and the other. She was always singing her fucking praises. And Cardi B, just like she said in that video, the difference between her and all them other bitches, um, and I can think of a few just to name, you know what I'm saying? She's not going to suck your dick. She's not going to suck Nicki Minaj's dick. Yes, she did what she did, but that bitch ain't make her. The same way she said, uh, addressing that motorsport song, Nicki, you didn't make anybody. The most thing in common that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B have is that fucking Trinidadi and heritage. That's fucking it. And the stripper body aesthetic. However, Cardi B was actually a stripper and Nicki was just built like SpongeBob prior to. And she needed to do that to go with her image for her career. You know what I'm saying? So, and hey, I'm not knocking it. Your hustle. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you get the money how you can, Nicki. But nonetheless, let's keep it honest. You know what I'm saying? There's no similarities in between Cardi B and Nicki Minaj other than that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why people... I understand people... I did understand people comparing them. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand why they did like all, all the fucking time. But I did understand it because we hadn't seen nobody but Nikki for the longest. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, her and Remy had her thing. But, you know, Remy is dim, uh, busy, you know, blasting off into... Or uh, reaching into other ventures. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Nikki should be doing at this point. Yes, she's getting older. You can't be 50 and be the queen of rap. Nobody nobody wants to see you twerking your 50-year-old ass. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So that's what my advice to Nikki would be at this point. Leave Cardi B the fuck alone. You got Queen Radio? Good. Um, you don't got Kmart no more? Go get you another fast line. Hell. Um, do things, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't do music forever. You can't. You know what I'm saying? We, there's no 50-year-old female rappers. I'm sorry. It's, it's just not a thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless you have that established, you know what I'm saying? Like little Kim. Yeah. She could probably still do this when she's 50. You know what I'm saying? But she's 20 years in the game. That's a veteran. You know what I'm saying? While I will say that we have problems respecting our greats, Nikki, you're one of those weeds that I'm talking about. <laughs> um, while I will say we have a problem respecting our legends, there are still people who will respect little Kim enough to, Oh, she dropped some music. Hey, I'm going to go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because what she did for the game, nobody will ever do, including you, Miss Nicki Minaj. So please don't ever get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I know somewhere in her head, she thinks her and little Kim is on the same level. She probably thinks she surpassed her. I know her fans seem to give off that air, and Nicki Minaj and her fans act similar. You know what I'm saying? That fucking immature, immaturity shit. 
you know what I'm saying, that throwing rocks and hiding hands, you know what I'm saying, all that sabotaging and shit, I know they play off each other's energies, you know what I'm saying, they have very similar energy, but please don't ever think that, you know what I'm saying, let's get that all the way clear, um, for me, I would just like for her to leave her the fuck alone, but I like that Cardi is being direct, I feel like Cardi should have done this a long time ago, a long time ago, it's almost 2019, since 2017, Nikki has been throwing shots at Cardi B, subliminal shots here and there, discussing her, you know what I'm saying, trying to be smirch her name, talking about the motorsport shit, you know what I'm saying, Cardi, uh, Nikki spent all of 2000, what, 18, 2017, throwing shots at Cardi B and Offset's marriage, you know what I'm saying, key word, she got a fucking ring, you know what I'm saying, so it's married people business, I don't know why you in it, but nonetheless, she threw shots at their marriage, and all the while, you getting raw dog by Quavo for some chains. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The hypocrisy of Nicki Minaj never seems to, it, it never seems, ceases to amaze me. It never does. You know what I'm saying? You talking about all this, it's okay to make a man wait. It's okay to be abstinent. You know what I'm saying? A ring, this, that, and the other. And, hey, if, them far, if, if these barbers want to act like Huntro Dreams, Ooh, excuse me, was a joking song. Let me tell you something. I ski skeet on your face at skeeting on somebody's face. No, that's that's not a that's that's not a friendly uh song. No, no, that's a fucking diss. He had to let it be known real quick. I'm I'm on Cardi's side, and that's what you fucking do. The nerve of Nikki to think that she was gonna be Cardi B's uh uh come up in there and be Cardi B's assistant in law was is, Y'all, she, Nikki's crazy is a different type of crazy. I can't, you know what I'm saying? But the hypocrisy of Nikki in this situation is just shining. It's shining. It's glowing. And then, you know, to go to her claims of Rob beat you up so bad. She beat you so bad. She don't even sound believable. But, all right, if we're going to go with Raw punch Cardi B, even though we've seen, you know what I'm saying? We've, the secu it's clear a security guard got to them. There was a lady that owned Wendy Williams that said Cardi B was in and out. You know what I'm saying? That that scuffle happened very quickly, and they were on different sides of the room. There's no way either person could have got to the other one. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Cardi B made a clear point. You know, I seen you stand, bitch. I'm standing right here, though. You know what I'm saying? On the fucking wall, Chung Lee Street Fighter. Bro, that shit had me weak. Oh, my God. But nonetheless, going back to what I was saying. If we're going to go with that, if Raw really did punch Cardi B in the face eight, nine times, then Raw ain't got no fucking hands. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give it to her because, first of all, she built like a linebacker. Let's just be honest. But, you know what I'm saying? Even with the video with her on Scott, with um, fighting Sky on um, Black Ink Crew, Sky dragged her, but I wouldn't say she completely beat her ass. You know what I'm saying? I feel like these fan bases try to ostracize shit to get in with they, to, you know, uplift they favorite or whatever i don't think she totally beat uh i don't think sky totally beat raw's ass but she did get some punches in i will say that you know what I'm saying? and the wig came off you know what i'm saying she did put in some work i will say that so with that being said that's the only point of reference i have for raw at least fighting skills and uh i have yet to seen her beat somebody ass that's just what i'm gonna say but if she got eight nine punches in and she only got one knot on cardi b's face then that's not good. That's that's not something I would brag. I would have just let the narrative of security keep being spun because that means Ryan got no fucking hands. <laughs> that means her hands weak as fuck. If that's all she could do was that one knot on Cardi B's head, like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm so tired of the situation. I'm tired of talking about it. Usually by now, I would be like, I just want them to fight. But I don't want them to fight because Nikki is not a fair fighter, as we've seen before. She gonna bring her bodyguard, Ra Ali. If I really thought Nikki was that New York chick that she claimed to be, that's putting girls in hospitals and stuff, and would meet up with Cardi B for a fair one, hey, I, let's sponsor a somebody get get some get a sponsor for a celebrity boxing match. Let's do it that way. You know what I'm saying? Cause Nikki gonna bring security, but you know. Let's do that. Just something. Like, I don't even... Or just leave each other alone. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I was talking to my neighbor, and I was like, I would prefer if Nikki... If you want to be that female that doesn't embrace other ones, that's fine, and that's A-OK. -okay. But leave them the fuck alone. Stop messing with people's money. Stop throwing subliminals every time somebody starts getting a little attention. Um, Like... And y'all can't say that she wasn't dissing because she said it. She said it. She clearly told on herself in the damn tweet. 
in the damn response that she was dissing Cardi B and No Flags. And that's why Cardi B, and, and, and so what? If Cardi B said, don't shoot the No Flags video, she might have told Offset not to. Uh, I don't know what type of thing she would have with 21 Savage to where she could tell him that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and I know some barbs are going to say, oh, well, they have that song, Barty or Cardi. That doesn't mean anything. People do songs all together, all the time. That's just business. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, um... And yeah, who is going to let their significant other be in a song with somebody dissing them? That's fucking disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised Cardi finished out the motorsport shit, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But um, nonetheless, that that's pretty much my take on the situation. Nikki is, and P, she's losing followers from this. Like, Nikki, the people are like, no, Nikki, you, you, you need to stop. She's losing fans from this. Like, people are very turned off by her attitude. And people are pretty much just that. That pretty much the narrative overall is pretty much the narrative overall is Cardi B is just tired of it. He is fucking tired of Nicki shit. She's tired of Nicki shit. She's tired of it, and she gonna let everybody know she fucking tired of it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. At the end of the day, um, that, that's pretty much my take on the situation. I need, I, I, I just, I, I don't even know what to, I don't know what to say. I, I just, um, I, I don't know what to say at this point. It just seems to, it, it, I, I don't know where we go from here. <laughs> like, I really don't fucking know. It, I wish just both of these ladies would just, don't talk about each other and just get your money, keep going. You know what I'm saying? And I do commend Cardi for being grown up and holding on to shit as long as she can. Because I know people, you know, Cardi's thing is she rants and rants and rants. You know what I'm saying? But she does bite her tongue on a lot of shit and has been biting her tongue on a lot of shit. Because I keep in mind, I told y'all, since 2017, Nicki Minaj has been throwing shots at her. That's two fucking years almost because we're almost in 2019. So for her not to say anything to, you know what I'm saying, try to, you know, look like, oh, yeah, we're cool. We spoke. We had a conversation. All this shit was going on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to be that person to bust somebody out. But they swiftly, you know what I'm saying, oh, we're good in person when we have this conversation at the Met Gala or whatever. Or in L.A., we was good when we had that conversation. But you still throwing shots and records. You still talking bad about me. You still talking down on me in interviews. So I definitely understand Cardi's frustration. Um, but... At the end of the day, and she called it. She said, you sick in the head. You know what I'm saying? Um, so at the end of the day, um, I think what Cardi should take away from uh, just, I, I don't even know what to say, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. I didn't intend this video being so long. I got food in the oven. Well, the toaster oven, but we're not going to really discuss that. I got to post this video, and I need to go eat because it's been a long day. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Do y'all think, are y'all team Nikki, team Cardi? Are y'all team neither? What do y'all think they should do from here? Y'all let me know in the comments, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.